Hey, it is less than three weeks before I will be losing my hair for charity. I am raising awareness and funds for the Cancer Council of South Australia and the Caroline Bristow Wig Library. Now, Caroline was a uh, close colleague slash friend of mine uh, for many years and so I wanted to do something that was personal to the local area as well as supporting the Cancer Council SA whom supported both my mum and my father-in-law's uh, treatment through, through the cancer process. Now, the reason I'm doing this now is because it's been 10 years since my mum, Irene, passed away from cancer. 10 years is a long time and I feel like I might be at a point where I can actually have conversations without breaking down into tears. Might just be a bit um, emotional, but uh, you know, it's I, I want to welcome those conversations and and start talking a little bit about what it means to be ill and and seeing people, um, having people being seen as ill, and losing one's hair is one of those trademark stigma um, signs, and one of the biggest fears. It is starting to cause a bit of anxiety in myself. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think it would, but it is. Um, so we'll, we'll see how we go with that. And I'd like to document how I go with that pre and post shave, um, as well as, you know, the sorts of responses that I'm going to get. I don't know how my children are going to react, but, um, you know, we'll work through it. It's a challenge, you know. Um, any differences is I'm doing this by choice to try and raise awareness start conversations and also some money um, to help out with the two the two charities that I've chosen. Um, I guess it's sort of come about this year because I unfortunately I lost my father-in-law Brian um, to cancer as well so the fact that it's you know been such a long time since I've seen my mum and and such a fresh um, wound from losing Brian, it seems like it's the right time to, to, to actually do this and, you know, um, have very real and vulnerable conversations about it. So, less than three weeks, I have less than two weeks until my GoFundMe campaign will close so you can, I can um, still receive donations online up until Wednesday the 12th of December and um, I'll only have one more week after that to receive any donations in person. Um, it won't be too late, but you know, it will have to be in person. Because on the 19th of December, I will be going as bold as a ball ball and um, all donations will cease, I, I guess, from there. And um, then I would like to cover what, I guess, happens with what I have raised. I haven't raised my goal yet, yeah, haven't reached my goal of 2,500, um, I'm still a fair ways away, so if you have some spare change, I know it's Christmas time in the lead up, it's always hard, but even if it's $5 here or $5 there, it will all add up a little bit, lots of people giving a little bit will make a big bit at the end of it, so um, if you can, just find some jingly change and pop it through, I would be very much grateful. Um, and of course, come up and ask me some questions because that's what this is about too. I really, really do want to, um, and not just about hair loss, about anything that comes with illness. Let's have these conversations. Let's be vulnerable together and, um, and I guess just remind ourselves how we would feel if we were going through it. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I will update you soon, I guess. Maybe when I have a panic attack about losing all my hair. I don't know. What am I going to do? What, what am I going to colour? <laughs> Might have to buy some new eyeshadow and lipsticks. <laughs> anyway, oh, body paint. That could work. <laughs> Alright, I am over and out for now. Alright, thank you. Bye.